All right, here we go. Number one, wisdom teeth. Have you ever met anyone who was happy about getting their wisdom teeth? Exactly. Wisdom teeth are your body's way of saying, welcome to adulthood, now suffer. This thing used to be a buff. Your ancestors lived by chewing on leaves, raw meat, and prehistoric delicacies like pulverized tree roots or bone marrow roasted with just a glare. They needed a strong chewing system and a few extra molars to grind through everything like a slow juicer. But then humans invented knives, gas stoves, and Uber Eats. And so, wisdom teeth became unemployed. You do not need extra teeth anymore. But wisdom teeth do not ask for your opinion. They just show up like an untrained intern, ruining the lineup, pushing the other teeth aside, causing pressure, and eventually getting fired by the dentist. Today, our jaws are smaller because we are not gnawing through entire live animals anymore. But wisdom teeth still act like you are about to tackle an oak tree. Even more surprising, the number of people born without wisdom teeth is increasing. As if our bodies are finally realizing, oh, that was a bug? All right, let me patch that. And thus, the natural uninstall process begins. No update, no email subscription required. Number two, goosebumps. Have you ever gotten goosebumps and thought, oh cool, I'm about to scare someone? No then you are clearly not your ancestor. The erector pili muscle is that tiny thing that makes your skin form little bumps when you're cold or emotional. Sounds poetic, but it was actually a prehistoric defense skill. When danger appeared, your ancestors would puff up like a cat facing a Rottweiler, looking bigger, scarier, and less edible. And today, nothing puffs up, nothing to raise. Unless you are a secret ape in disguise, the erector pili muscle now just decoratively reminds you that you are cold. And if you have ever wondered why you get goosebumps from sad music, congratulations. You just accidentally triggered a survival reflex that expired back when humans were still roommates with saber-toothed tigers. The good news? This muscle is slowly fading over time. Future generations might never know what goosebumps even feel like. The bad news? You still have to live with a body part whose main function is reminding you that you forgot your jacket. Number three, palmer muscle. You have a muscle in your forearm that you might not even know exists. And that is totally fine because a lot of people do not have it. And that is also totally fine. Its scientific name is palmaris longus. But realistically, it should be called the forgotten backup muscle. Its original job was to help you flex your hand more strongly. Super useful if you were a monkey swinging through trees. But if your most intense daily movement is scrolling through TikTok, yeah, you will survive without it. About 14% of the population is born without it, and they live just fine. Still capable of opening ketchup lids and everything, which is why doctors often remove it to use elsewhere for grafts, like you come pre-installed with a spare part. And if you do not use it, someone else can borrow it. It is basically a spare tire inside your body. You will not miss it if it is gone, but it is incredibly handy if someone needs a tendon transplant in a hurry. So next time a doctor asks if you have a palmaris longus muscle, do not panic. It is not a new virus. It is just a one-time use software feature now mostly for recycling. Number four, nasal sinus. Nasal sinuses are those hollow cavities inside your face. Yes, the very holes that make your head feel like an overinflated balloon every time you catch a cold. Science still has not reached a full consensus on what sinuses actually do. Some theories say they help humidify the air you breathe. Others suggest they lighten the skull so your head does not tip forward like a watermelon. Some think they add vocal resonance when you sing. In the shower. Sounds civilized. Until they get infected and suddenly you discover there is an entire part of your head dedicated to producing mucus just to ruin your home your life. The problem is, people with larger sinuses are more likely to get infections, while those with smaller ones get sick less often. It is like the body is quietly trying to downsize this feature because it is just too annoying. Unfortunately, that process will take a few thousand years. So for now, your sinuses remain a default feature complete with system bugs. Number five, tailbone. The tailbone is that little bone at the end of your spine. It does not help you run faster, 
It does not make you taller, and it definitely does not make you smarter. But once upon a time, it was the base of an actual tail. That is right. Your ancestors used to have real tails. Tails for balance, for communication, for swatting flies. A multifunctional tool not unlike a modern TV remote. Then humans started walking on two legs, learned to use their hands, and invented genes. And the tail slowly vanished, leaving the tailbone behind like a note that says, I used to work here. Nowadays, the tailbone is just an anchor point for a few muscles and ligaments. But if you ever fall backwards, trust me, you will be very aware that it still exists. Occasionally, a baby is born with a small fleshy tail. No bone, just a vestigial tail. It does not do anything. It just makes the doctor pause a little during checkups. The tailbone is a leftover monument from a time when humans knew how to wag. Now it just sits there at the end of your spine, doing nothing, occasionally hurting for fun. Number six, toes. You can use your toes to pick up socks, scratch the other foot, or play piano if you are both bored and unusually flexible. But evolutionarily speaking, most of your toes are now just freeloading off the big toe. Back in the day, our ancestors needed feet like steel hooks to grip trees, balance on branches, and leap from rock to rock like those apes in documentaries. Toes were the main cast in the mobility team. But now, you walk on pavement, wear shoes cushioned like clouds, and drive cars instead of climbing trees. The big toe still carries the burden of balance, while the other four are on an extended vacation. Over time, those little toes might shrink or disappear entirely due to lack of use. Of course, you will not wake up tomorrow and find your foot has turned into half a loaf of bread. But at this rate, future humans might have feet that look like low bristle toothbrushes. In other words, you are carrying around a bunch of decorative accessories just to keep your flip-flops in place. Number seven, Jacobson's organ. Have you ever smelled someone and thought they were attractive? like a wave of seductive pheromones hits you, and suddenly, you just have to swipe right? Well, actually no. Because the organ in charge of detecting sexy smells, called Jacobson's organ, has been retired since the Stone Age. Our ancestors once used it to detect chemical signals like, I'm ovulating, or back off, I'm furious. It was a silent, emotional radar, super useful in a world without Tinder. But then humans learned to talk, text, and invented emojis, and Jacobson's organ was left behind like an old Nokia pager in a forgotten drawer. Today, this organ still exists in some people's noses, but it is pretty much non-function. Some are even born without it, and they still date, still get their hearts broken, and still misinterpret texts that say, okay. If you are thinking, so why do we still have it? Congratulations. You just asked the same question evolution is currently working on. And it looks like evolution is leaning toward cleanup mode. Number eight, outer ear muscle. Can you wiggle your ears? No? Perfect. You are part of the 90% of modern humans people who own a set of completely useless muscles. The outer ear muscles were once an independent ear rotating system, helping your ancestors detect sound like living radar. They could hear footsteps in the bushes, swivel their ears toward danger, and escape before becoming dinner. Then humans learned how to turn their heads and look and invent podcasts. And ears gradually became a fixed decoration stuck to the side of your head. Today, a few people can still wiggle their ears mostly due to genetics or an alarming amount of free time. One person even trained hard enough to set a Guinness record by wiggling their ears 99 times in 30 seconds. An achievement that will not help you avoid taxes, but will definitely make parties weirder. At this point, ear muscles are like broken buttons on a TV remote. Fine if you have them, fine if you do not. And chances are, a few thousand years from now, your descendants will look at ancient human ears and ask, uh, what were they planning to do with those? Number nine, appendix. The appendix is like a pre-installed app on your phone that you never open but still takes up space. And sometimes it crashes the whole system. In prehistoric times, the appendix might have helped your ancestors digest leaves bark, and things we now call survival fiber. It was an ancient digestive assistant quietly working backstage. But then humans invented cooking and washing vegetables and making pizza. 
and the appendix had nothing left to do except sit around and wait to get inflamed. When it acts up, you have to rush to surgery. And the interesting part is, after it is removed, you live just fine. No need to recover any functions, no replacements, no patches required. In fact, up to 20% of people in some regions are now born without an appendix, as if their bodies read nature's patch notes and decided to uninstall the outdated feature. In other words, the appendix is a quietly laid off organ. No announcement, no farewell. Just one day, you realize you do not need it, and your body starts to agree. Number 10, mobile ear canal bump. Have you ever noticed that weird little bump on the rim of your ear? No? Fair enough, it is useless anyway. It is called Darwin's tubercle, basically the suspicious bump, an extra bit of cartilage that around 10 to 35% of people have. It does not hurt, it does not help, and no one really knows what it is for. The theory says it is a leftover from ancestors who had pointed ears or ears that could move. It used to be a biological hinge that let ears rotate towards sound, but now nothing rotates. Your ears are as motionless as a weather app in the Arctic. Some people think it is a mutation. Others think it is proof of reverse evolution. But science is more straightforward. It is just a leftover part that never got uninstalled. It is like the spare button on your coat. You do not use it. You do not notice it. But it just stays there. Quietly reminding you. You used to be a creature with better hearing. And so you go through life with a bump nobody asked for, nobody needs, and absolutely no way to remove in settings. That's all for today. Comment the one that fooled you the longest and subscribe if you want more Brain Bugs Explained.